Hey, how are you? Uh oh, is your microphone working? Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. There we go. Sorry. How no, are you doing now? You're all good. How are you? I'm good. Sleepy, but good. <laughs> all right. I just have a few questions for you that we're going to go through and answer. And these are all open-ended questions. So just give your best response about how you feel and what you would advise someone like me interested in your career. So that being said, the first question that I'm going to ask you is what do you do specifically? Like what's your profession? I am an emergency room nurse. So I have a four-year degree in nursing and then I went straight to the emergency room which is very broad spectrum of nursing right okay so where do you work at like the next question is where do you work at I know you said the ER but like more specifically where at and where did you start I started in Montgomery Alabama at Baptist South it's a level two trauma center and stroke center um, so I saw a lot of different things there, like car wrecks, um, life flights, stimmies, uh, all that kind of stuff. And then more recently, I took a contract at a smaller rural hospital in Greenville, Alabama, where I worked the night shift emergency room there. Gotcha. Okay. And then my third question is going to be, what degree do you have specifically? And then where did you go to college to get that? Yeah, so I have a bachelor's in science of nursing. Um, I obtained it at Columbus State University through their nursing school program. Gotcha. And then what does a typical like day look like for you? I know like for right now you say you work in nights, but a shift. Um, <laughs> every shift is completely different. I have yet to have two that were exactly the same. Um, you can have anything from a urinary tract infection to a small bowel obstruction to sepsis to a STEMI to I mean, it, really anything you can imagine can walk through your door at any time. Um, so it's just very upbeat, very personable very hard to diagnose sometimes but it's um I like the uniqueness of the ER and how every day you have the diversity to test your knowledge and skills through different patients so I know that's not really an answer to the question but I get there at seven until I get off at seven <laughs> it's just like all the colors in the crayon box you know you just you get all kinds of diagnoses all kinds of injuries all kinds of things right and that makes sense. So my next question is, what's your favorite and your least favorite part of your job? I know you said that you like the uniqueness of it, but like more specifically, like, do you like, yeah. do you like the ER? Would you like recommend that? I love the ER. I always tell everybody that it's not for everybody. As soon as you walk in, most people know if it's your home or heck no. <laughs> There's not a lot of in between. Um, so for me, like my very first clinical, I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. I threw, I thrived in the chaos. Not everybody is like that. Um, what I like about the ER, I like that it is dysfunctional. I like that you get to test all of your skills. I like that you get to test all of your knowledge, like everything I've learned in nursing school, I've either seen or got to perform. So I like that aspect of it because it, I think it makes me more knowledgeable and, you know, increases my level of expertise um something I don't like about it <laughs> is that the ER doesn't have limits so for every patient that comes to the door the ER has to take them right so most floors have a limit of ratios of what patients are going to take and you know they can kind of say oh well we can't take any more patients the ER doesn't get that you get what walks in or EMS brings in. So that's one thing I'm still learning to try to juggle. I don't know if there is a way to juggle it. But um, yeah, that's, that's probably my least favorite part about the ER. Because some days you just want to, hey, no more, we're full. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my next question is going to be, what's one piece of advice that you would give someone considering this profession? 
Um, one thing I would say to people in nursing is that COVID, COVID changed the game, right? Like everyone knows that, but it, healthcare is exhausted from COVID. So for you coming in, you know, several years after, but nonetheless still feeling the effects, I would say don't get discouraged. You got, you went through the schooling for a purpose. You got your degree for a purpose. You picked whatever specialty, whether it's labor and delivery or NICU or community nursing, whatever it is, you picked it for a reason. So, you know, really hold on to that passion and that reason you have and continue to drive and pursue what your dream of your nursing career is, because it's very easy to let the environment discourage you, whether it's a patient you had or a circumstance you had to experience or the lack of resources is very easy to forget why you did it right makes sense and then my next question is what's something that you now know that you didn't realize before you got into your profession so much actually (laughs) (laughs) so much um something I know now that I didn't know in the beginning would be really truly how rewarding it can be to be a nurse. Like even in the ER, I have a lot of patients who have the common cold or the flu or, you know, something very common, but how rewarding it is to be able to care for them and be able to be there for them when they're scared or tired or, you know, through whatever's going on or even a loss. It is extremely rewarding to be able to be knowledgeable to them, to be comfort to them. And so that's one another one of my favorite parts about my job that I didn't I didn't really fully encompass until I experienced it, if that makes any sense. Right. You don't think of that aspect of it until it's there. And then my last question is, do you see yourself doing this profession forever or do you plan to change or? So I absolutely love the ER. Absolutely love it. It is my home is what I call it. Um, but when I have kids, I'm a married firefighter. So it's 24 hours on for him, uh, ERs, 12 hour shifts. So we'll see. I don't know. I've uh, considered going into life flight, which is emergency flight nursing. Um, and there's, you know, some different certifications and career paths for that, but we'll see. We're going to see where the road takes us. So I gotcha. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me today. I loved all of your answers and it's very helpful for someone like considering the profession and all the different areas because nursing is so broad. You don't realize that until you're halfway in. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, um, when you pick your specialty, most people, not everybody, but most people know that when you walk in, you, you feel comfortable, you feel, you know, interested, you feel curious. So I just, you know, want you to go try everything, see what you like, see where you fit, and then go on from there. Right. Well, thank you so much again. You are so welcome. You enjoy your day. You too. Bye. Bye.